What's up everybody, Sean Tor Body High Performance Nutrition. I'm about to show you my new recipe. That is my chai latte post-workout wake up shake. This is what I've been having the last few days going into the Christmas time when I've been putting in long hours trying to get ready for the holiday in terms of having all of our promotions lined up, emails lined up, all the work that needs to be done so that you can relax a little bit on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. With that said, after I finish training first thing in the morning, it's like typically 9, 10 a.m. and I've already been up for a few hours and I put in some work at the gym. Now it's time to get into the office and I wanna go in full steam ahead. So what I do is I mix coffee, which I don't drink before I train because I don't really have time or desire to and I'm having P3, which has a little bit of stimulant in it. I'll take my coffee, which is in this case a Starbucks caramel uh, Keurig cup, and I'll put it in, get that going. Water's already hot, you gotta pull this thing out. I use my shaker, and the reason why is because I'm going to mix up my chai latte in it, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna get that brewing. I'm actually gonna select the large size because I want a little bit more liquid. That's gonna get going, and while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Pro Zero packet. Of course, typically you'd use the tub, but I have a sample handy. You can get these on tryprozero.com. So I got this open and ready to rock. I also have almond cashew blend, which is my favorite right now, super creamy. I don't drink milk or use really any milk products on a regular basis, so this really works as a kind of a creamer for me. It's super low calorie and I'm only using a little bit. And I am gonna use one packet of super low. So you could use stevia, monk fruit, whatever you want. I like myself a little bit sweeter, so I put that in there. So, coffee's almost done here. Let that finish up. Cool, that's all good. First thing I'm gonna do is mix in my Splenda. Got that. Shake up the almond milk. I'm putting about two ounces, but I'm not measuring it because it doesn't really matter. Just enough so it's not black, the coffee. And I'm just gonna swirl that a little bit. This does two things. It cools the coffee just a little bit and it blends the almond milk or the cashew milk in. Then I'm gonna add the chai. Now here's where it's really important. If you were to put the lid on this right now and just start shaking it violently, the heat is gonna create some gas in the cup and it's gonna blow the lid off. So you have to do this correctly and you wanna get your lid on. Do this one-handed. Get the lid on, get it tight. Once you feel like that's on all the way, just like that. Don't shake it violently, then open the lid. See how that lid almost blew off? So if you do it like that, shake it again, open it again. You wanna repeat this like three or four times so you're constantly letting out the excess air that the heat is forming. One more, and this is the last one. Then you can kind of shake it for real. So, with that, I'm gonna show you what this guy, what this actually looks like. I'm gonna pour it out. It's nasty out here. I'm gonna pour this out. So, what you have is like a really nice looking latte type drink, really. Chai Latte Flavor Pro Zero. It's also really good with cinnamon roll. Go to tryprozero.com. Check it out. If you have any questions, comment below. This recipe right here, fully prepared, is about 120 calories. Uh, and that's 20 grams of protein and about three grams of carbs and three grams of fat. Good to go. Post-workout wake up. Chai Latte Pro Zero.